So today I'm talking about how to get clients as a freelancer or consultant, which is basically where I was about two years ago. So if you're in a position where you don't know, you're not really getting enough clients, maybe you're just getting clients through referrals, um, or you're just like getting sporadic clients now and again, and sometimes you're doing really well, other times you're you know, a starving freelancer or consultant trying to work out where the hell the next client's coming from. Well, this is what this video is all about. And basically, let me start by telling the story of where I was about two years ago. So I'm basically just talking to myself um, and giving myself advice because I've been through quite a long, like big journey in the past two years to get to where I am today. And basically it all started when I had a startup, which when um, it just completely collapsed and I found myself with very little money because I invested a bunch of money into this startup. I put all my time and effort for two years prior to that with very little or zero pay because I thought this startup would blow up and make me loads of millions and millions of pounds one day, which I had the potential to do, but it did not, unfortunately. That's just the nature of startups and software startups and all that kind of stuff. But the point is I found myself basically not on the streets, but I was really, really in a position where I was running out of cash fast and I had no one to rely on. I didn't really have anyone to um, borrow money from. I ended up borrowing money from the bank a couple of times like in, in personal loans. So I found myself actually in debt, trying to work out what the hell to do. And I positioned myself as a freelance Facebook advertiser, which eventually I moved into um, LinkedIn advertising. My experience in the startup was all around marketing and it was very much B2B. So I knew I had the skills. I already was in a position where I had these skills. So I just, but I was never in a position where I could get clients and just, you know, I had no referrals coming from anywhere because my focus was not on uh, freelancing or consulting. So I was like, what the hell, how do I do this? And I went into overdrive mode. I basically ignored all my friends and family for way too long. And I worked um, full steam ahead, ridiculous hours every single day through the weekends, just trying to work out how to get clients, how to position my business. Uh, eventually I went to how to systemize my business. And now I'm in a position where I have someone doing a lot of my work for me. Um, I earn more than enough through my consulting. I have a lot of time as well, because I actually have systemized my internal processes so I can get other people to do it for me. And I consult quite on quite a technical thing, which is LinkedIn advertising and paid social for B2B SaaS companies, so B2B software companies. But the point is I systemized my process. I found one problem to solve, um, which is demand gen for software companies. And because I had such a specific problem I was solving, I could systemize it. There was no custom changes every single time. I didn't have a custom proposal or a custom um, way of doing things for every single different client. I, f I said no to everyone else. If a, if like a, you know, I don't know, someone trying to raise money on a crowdfunding campaign said, hey, Phil, I want, to do, I want you to do my ads for me. I'd actually say no. Sometimes I said yes, and it was always a mistake when I did because it would be so much work for basically less money. But once I systemized my processes, things became really easy and I positioned myself as an expert or an authority over one very specific topic. So now people don't have a trust issue with hiring me and I can basically like triple or quadruple my prices um, and I keep raising them. Um, it's a supply, again, I can talk about this in another video, but it's a supply and demand. Uh, my prices are based around supply and demand. If I have a lot of demand, I can raise my prices. The point is this video is gonna go in to show you the exact um, things you should be looking at if you want to be getting clients and if you want to systemize your business. So I'm going to go through all that today. Before we begin, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button. I'm bringing out videos like this every single week. I'm bringing out probably about three videos a week at the moment. It's all about helping freelancers and consultants with demand generation. So the first thing I would do if I went back two years ago is to work out exactly the specific problem I'm solving. So let me give you a couple examples. Um, my problem that I solve, the problem I solve is not my problem, but it's other people's problems that I solve for them. Um, and it's only one very specific problem is basically how to generate um, phone calls, clients, um, sorry, it's phone calls, demos, free trials for software companies mainly. And Basically, I do my solution is through paid media. I do paid social, LinkedIn and Facebook ads and Twitter ads for software companies to increase their yeah, phone calls, demos, free trials. So it's the 
that one thing, I don't, I'm not focusing on SEO, I'm not focusing on email marketing, I'm not focusing on all this other stuff which is amazing and really good. I just have one solution for their problem and the solution's good, I know the solution works and because I have that one solution and it's the same thing over and over again, it's actually, I'm, I'm charging um, prices as if it's a custom strategy every time but it's actually systemized and I've productivized my uh, business to a way where it's the same solution but I charge custom prices which is very scalable and a very good place to be. Another example is if you're freelancing, say if you're a motion graphic designer, the trick is instead of saying I'm a motion graphic designer, work out what's the problem you're solving, what is the product you can sell, even though it's a service, what is the, how do you productivize your service and for example, as a motion graphic designer, I know software very well. So software, you know, software companies might be in new market segments, which are completely brand new and then they don't really, um, it's not clear exactly what they do. You know, it's not a segment that people just go, I know what you're talking about. I know what it is already. It's a new segment. So what they, do they need? They need an easy way to explain why their solution or why their software is amazing, who it's for and how it can help and a small video, a stop motion, not stop motion, a motion graphic video is exactly a great way to, you know, communicate the solution they have. So what I would do as a motion graphic designer is not just say I do motion graphics and I'm going to do motion graphics for social media, I'm going to do motion, and just selling myself out for all these different things. I'll probably charge like $50 or $60 an hour if I'm doing it that way. What I would do is focus on one very specific productized thing or problem which is software companies communicating their new you know what they do um, and then I would find a good solution say it's a one minute video then I'll just do that I would just focus on that one minute video and once I've got that I can systemize my processes and hire the, the $50 a day stop motion designer who might be better than me um, but I've created the system so they can follow those systems really clearly, which means I can scale this business. I can have numerous clients to me coming um, to do my stop motion, you know, video, uh, sorry, motion graphic videos, but I can be hiring freelancers or hiring internal team members to be actually implementing the strategy, implementing what we're doing. So I can be focusing on building my business and bringing more clients. So the point I'm trying to say is find one solution in your field, very specific solution, and you know, that you solve, that you have a prob, find one specific problem that you have a solution for, and then just stick to that one thing and become an authority over that one thing. So with the uh, motion graphic videos for software companies, you can then go out and start blogging, creating video, creating content, all around communicating new segments and focusing just on software, for example, is really good. So I'm gonna make more videos about niching or specifically finding a very specific problem to solve, which is all about what niching is. And it all, it's all about finding a very specific target um, audience, like who specifically are you helping and how specifically do you help them? So my number one advice to me two years ago or to you if you're in that position is find a specific problem to solve, then systemize it. So now that I've systemized my business, and I have a very specific problem that I'm solving, the first thing I would probably do is go out and try to find clients. There are other things that we will need to do in this process, but now if you're how I was two years ago, I was just needing some cash flow running from my business, and I didn't have so much cash to invest to scale in say paid media or other forms of demand generation. So what I would do now is all about cold, email marketing and I know some people probably roll your eyes up at that but I can assure you that like it's all out the return on investment is amazing and you can reach the c-suite you can reach really entrepreneurs founders you can reach a really amazing people through cold email marketing and I have a whole tutorial video on my youtube channel so make sure you subscribe but also go check out that video I'll leave a link in the description below but cold email marketing is the first thing I'll do just ignore or everything else just focus tunnel focus on cold email marketing do it the way I teach you in the other video and just focus on that trust me it's the one thing you should be doing straight away it's not as scalable as some stuff I'm going to tell you about in the next um, steps but it's a really great way to just go out and get clients 
fast. So cold email marketing is the way. Forget about LinkedIn outbound, which you know is everyone's spamming each other on LinkedIn at the moment. Just forget about that. Forget about all these other things, blogging, SEO, all this. Forget everything. Just focus on cold email marketing. Do it correctly, and I can guarantee you you're gonna be getting clients really quickly. I get replies from my cold outbound, cold email outbound, sometimes within an hour, or within 24 hours, I'm getting a bunch of replies of people saying, yeah, for sure, let's have a chat. If you know your problem, the problem you're solving, and you're really clear with that, and you're targeting um, the specific person who has that problem, basically you have product to market fit, like these people actually have a problem, and you're solving that problem, um, you're gonna be getting replies, you're gonna be hitting people who are thinking I've been you know I have this problem I've been having this problem I've been thinking about sorting this out and contacting someone like you so let's jump on the phone I want to talk to you and you're going to convert some of those people into clients so first thing to do is focus on cold email marketing watch my video on how to do that and just do that so now that you're getting phone calls you're getting some cash flow for your business and you have some clients so you feel relaxed you you, you can pay your bills you're doing well and you know, with Outbound, you can actually be getting clients quite consistently. So you can, hopefully you're seeing how Outbound can be a kind of lifesaver, but also like a consistent uh, level of um, just something consistently bringing you clients. So you can just relax and start focusing on the bigger picture a little bit. I'm sure you'll be very busy with just sorting out the clients, working out your systems. If you're anything like me, I first, I skipped step number one and went to step number two. I got the clients and then uh, worked out how the hell to solve their problem. So hopefully you're not doing that, but probably you are because this is what most people do. Um, so yeah, once you've got those two steps, which in whichever order done, um, the next step is to build authority around that problem you solve. And the reason why we're getting so specific is then everything you do, every piece of content you create, everything you talk about is about that one problem. And then you start getting known about that one problem. And you, you become like the point is not to become the next, you know, big thing that everyone knows about. We're not trying to become a superstar. We're trying to become a big fish in a small pond. And what that means is like, if you're talking about a very specific problem to solve or a niche to a very specific target audience who have that problem, and that's all you do, you become the, you know, the go-to guy or girl on that topic. And that's what the ne this step is all about, building authority and building your authority. Because I can imagine those phone calls are quite difficult without authority. Um, but I can assure you now, like now, even with my tiny subscriber count on YouTube, please subscribe and help me by the way. But even with my tiny subscriber count, with a few of my blogs, m me going out on LinkedIn, I've built up enough authority that I nearly don't even have to sell anything on the phone calls. People come to me and they're, all of my phone calls these days are basically people saying, I watch your videos about LinkedIn advertising. I get it, you know, I'm, I'm at the right stage. What do I have to do? And they're willing to pay me a lot more than my competition who aren't putting themselves themselves out there um, because they already know my processes. I've shown them, I've, I'm teaching them how I do things. Um, so they've seen that, they've built trust, they believe my processes are good. And I've become kind of like a teacher, which, you know, teachers generally, if you're a good teacher, you get put on a pedestal as a teacher and you put your head above your competition. So it's basically this, this step is all about teaching and building authority around this problem. So again, going back to the motion graphic designer um, one, at this point, I would be just talking about communicating new segments, like uh, communicating software solutions in new segments, new market segments. And I'll just talk all about that. I'll be blogging, I'll be on LinkedIn talking about it, and I'll be on YouTube. Um, probably best to pick one um, specific place to do that. Blogging or YouTube is great because you know, it's search-based, so you're just gonna start building traffic and you're actually gonna be getting demand gen over time just from that. I get clients from YouTube all the time and I know that blogging is a great one. Blogging is a big investment of time um, because you probably have to write at least 80 articles in, uh, you know, in a short, you know, 
80 articles and then eight months later you're getting traffic or six months later you're getting the traffic so it's you know start now build that authority but actually the traffic you get from your content from your blogs from YouTube they're going to be super easy to convert because they've already been watching you or reading about what you're saying and you've built that authority so you're just going to be converting those clients and those are the clients that you can contribute your prices with they're willing to pay you a lot more than your competition because you built the authority and trust with them before they even get on the phone with you so this step is all about building authority choose one medium i would suggest blogging or youtube blogging is a big time investment you have to as i said 80 blogs if you go down the blogging route and you want to do it quickly you have to blog like release like 50 blogs in a short space of time and then six months down the line you're going to be reaping those rewards it's definitely worth it and i would then just start trying to find a couple hours a day to start blogging the other option is youtube youtube um, if you're good on video or if you're not good on video just put yourself out there with my tiny subscribers i only have a few thousand people watching me at the moment a month i'm already getting people to you know i have gated content on my YouTube channel where I push people to free LinkedIn ads course. I'll put the description in there below. But if you wanna learn about LinkedIn ads targeting, I have a free course. So the people on my YouTube channel, I put, I put this call to action out in my, you know, LinkedIn ads videos, and then I um, tell them to subscribe, to, to click on that and um, do the free course. So when they do, I get their email address and then I can push them through email marketing um, and try to get them to schedule a phone call with me. So a percent of those do, and I'm getting clients already from my YouTube channel, from the content I create. And so, yeah, definitely do this step. What you've already got a system in place, you've got clients coming in from cold email. Now build authority, build that authority. In this stage, it's all about raising your prices. And I know um, a, there's a lot of difficulty around this because it's all based around mind frame. Like if, when you're get, just getting started, it's really hard for you to really know how much to charge. And I can consistently say that everyone undercharges. I did the same thing. Um, it's been a process to get to me where I'm at now and I'm still raising my prices all the time. Um, but all I'm trying to say is charge more than you think. People won't blink an eye, actually. The difference between, say, me charging 800 pounds a month for my retainer to charging 2,000 pounds a month, it's strange, but once I've built enough authority, I found it harder to convert people at the 800 pound mark than I do at 2,000 pound mark because I've built enough authority around my topic and subject matter. So people don't even question. I can even raise that more, you know, to the point where I am getting lower conversion rates. and. The second you can, the reason why raising your prices makes so much sense is it's much better to have less clients paying you more and you can then just focus on them a lot more. The, you know, ultimately each client, it doesn't matter if they're low paying or high paying, are roughly the same amount of work. So if you have 20 low paying clients rather than 10 high paying clients, it's nearly half the work for double the money. And it really is like that. I know it sounds crazy, but the work from a higher paying client sometimes is even less because they value what you do more or even if it's exactly the same or even if it's 20 percent more it's not if you double your prices the work with that client is not double the work you might put an extra 10 20 percent care into them you know double checking they're fine or something like this but it's definitely not much more work and it's a lot more money and at that the second you start the second reason why charging more makes complete sense and is something that you have to do is because at that point you can start hiring out your work to other people who do charge the 50 60 dollars an hour or whatever it is they charge but to be able to do that you need to be charging um more like 150 an hour or 120 an hour it really depends on what your profession is and what your consulting is um but you need to be charging at least two to three times what you can hire the work out to so you can scale your business so raising your price is something that you should be thinking about and trying to do all the time. And once you've got a few clients in the door, raise the price by 50% even. You know, if you're charging a thousand, charge an extra 500 on top and just see where it goes from there. If you haven't built enough authority, fair enough, but definitely be uh, thinking about raising your prices because the number one thing that holds people back is low prices because then they have to implement and do all the work themselves. They can never scale and they're stressing because every time a client comes in, they have to do everything themselves. They can't hire it out to other people. Um, and then it's also the, you know, um, clients come in, 
you or you put all your effort into trying to find clients then you get a couple of clients and you put all your effort into just like delivering for the clients then they're done and you haven't put any effort into demand gen so then you have to go out and find more clients and it's this like very stressful cycle that most people get caught into and actually breaking through that cycle is one of the key difficulties and price will do that for you if you raise your price and you have your systems in place you can then outsource it to either an employee hire someone or a freelancer who you trust and build trust with over time so then you can just keep focusing on the demand gen aspect rather than demand gen then delivery then demand gen then delivery um, so definitely raise your prices start thinking about that and start thinking about how to do that so I'd say the final step is to build out a paid media strategy and I know a lot of people want to jump straight in there and most people just want to do this straight at the you know right at the beginning a paid media strategy is where you have which is what I am an expert in but I also advise people to first do all those previous steps first, systemize their business, make sure they're actually solving a problem, have some clients coming in first, have some cash flow so they can invest in this, all that kind of stuff. But once you reach this point, it's a really scalable system. Paid media is amazing. If you do it wrong, you can just completely blow your budget. Um, and that's why you gotta be a bit cautious with it because it, it's not easy to crack. But if you do, it's like a highly scalable business. A lot of consultants and you know, uh, consulting companies or freelancers have scaled their business to multi-millions um, just through the paid media. They'll use Facebook advertising or, you know, Facebook, Google, YouTube, LinkedIn ads to send traffic to landing pages, which converts that traffic into scheduled phone calls. So, you know, if you're a B2B SaaS company, you're trying to get the demos or free trials. But if you're a consultant, you're trying to get the scheduled phone calls because you're selling a high value service, right? Hopefully you're charging your lifetime value as a few thousand uh, pounds or dollars or euros or whatever at this point in time because you're an authority, you know what you're doing. Um, so you're charging good money. Um, and this is, at this point, you can be um, investing some of that into paid media. So we're basically shopping for traffic and we're sending a large, a load of traffic from the different media outlets, Facebook, LinkedIn, Google, to say an opt-in page, which then we start getting the lead and then we redirect them to a sales page where we're trying to get the action, which is basically we're trying to get them to be on the phone call with us. So once we have a really good conversion rate, say our conversion rate, um, say if it's co costing us a hundred pounds to get a phone call through this system. It's all an autopilot, it all goes into a calendar and you just open your calendar every day and you see, okay, I've got four phone calls today, I've got four phone calls tomorrow. This is all on autopilot and this is why it's amazing. And you can scale it, if it works of 2,000 pounds a month, you can scale this to 20,000 pounds a month. You might lose some efficiency, but you know, still you can scale this kind of system quite a lot. And so if you're getting your phone calls for 100 pounds a month, and you're converting 20% of those phone calls, which is pretty average. So it's one in five of those phone calls becomes a high paying client. And you know each client is worth six, 7,000 pounds to you, then you've just paid 500 pounds to make six or 7,000 pounds in return. So it's a really scalable, amazing you know system. And then you just reinvest that back and scale that system. Um, so cracking kind of a lead or demand gen paid media strategy is definitely not easy. It takes a lot of experimentation, probably some money down the drain, but once you crack it, you can scale it. And at this point, once you have consistent, as many phone calls that you want, you can turn the dial up and down depending on how many you can handle, you can start building out more, you can feel confident to hire more staff, build out your, you know, um, team members to handle all the uptick and demand you have. And at this point, you can probably hire a sales person, uh, someone who's a closer, you know, business development person, and you start just sending them phone calls. I mean, that you have to systemize the whole sales process, which this video is not about, but you then have to systemize the sales process. Hopefully you've done enough of them so you know what it's all about, but then you systemize that and you get a salesperson on that, um, and then they can be taking those phone calls and you then become the CEO of your consulting company. You have, you know, phone calls coming in from your demand gen efforts, from your co uh, cold email outbound, and from your content, you have someone closing the phone calls which are being booked, and you have people um, 
implementing the strategies and actually doing it. So at this point, you can just be focused on your company and managing those systems. And that's what it's all about, really. A lot of people want to get to that point. Some people don't want to get to the scaling stage. That's totally fine. If you want to just get to a point where you've got enough clients coming in and you're happy and you want to go surf, you want to go enjoy yourself, that's also totally fine. But that's the next step is scaling. And that's how you do it. Scale through a paid media um, strategy, mainly social ads, um, but also some Google ads as well. So if you're currently in the stage where I was two years ago, please leave, leave a comment below. Tell me where you're at. Tell me, do you have one client? Do you have a couple of clients ready? Are you ready? You know, you've had clients for a long time, but you've only been charging the 50, $60 and you're not quite at a stage where you know where to take it next. You know, tell me in the comments below, I'm going to answer those comments personally. So just write in the comments below, what stage are you at? Maybe you're not even, you know, started on your freelancing or consulting, um, career and you're just trying to work out what to consult on let me know i want to know and in the meantime definitely subscribe and hit the bell button and i'll see you soon